सो रिमेम्बर शुरू में मैंने आपको बताया दैट वॉट इज मैथ इट हैज वॉट इज मैटर इट हैज मैथ एंड इट ऑक्यूपाई स्पेस द सेम मैथ ऑक्यूपाइज लेस स्पेस इन सॉलिड एंड सेम मैथ ऑक्यूपाइज मच हायर स्पेस इन गैस विच इज द रीजन दैट वेन थिंग्स बॉयल दे कैन एक्सप्लोर्ड सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल स्टीम इंजन इज बेस्ड ऑन दिस आइडिया दैट इफ यू गिव अ लॉट ऑफ एनर्जी to some particles and you allow them to expand in you don't allow them to expand to wo aap pressure apply karwate hain unse and that pressure can be used to make things move that's the whole idea kya hum usko volume badhane nahi de rahe to wo kya karega fir jab volume nahi badhegi to pressure badhega if you don't allow the volume to increase and in fact you decrease it the pressure will increase and that pressure will help you move things or transfer energy similarly when we usually heat things to change their state solid to liquid ke liye usually we heat i say usually because it is possible to do it just by pressing it together you don't need to heat things to do that for example uh have you ever been uh to to a frozen lake ya have you ever been to uh स्केटिंग आइस स्केटिंग या अगर आप कभी स्नोई एरिया में गए हो तो वहां पर जब आप पाव रखते हो तो इट्स मच द चांस ऑफ यू स्लिपिंग इज मच हायर वेन वॉकिंग और स्नो कम्पेयर टू नॉर्मल लैंड वन रीजन इज दैट स्नो ऑब्वियसली हैज लेस फ्रिक्शन बट द सेकेंड रीजन इज द अंडरलाइंग रीजन दैट वेन यू प्रेस ऑन आइस देन यू आर अप्लाइंग प्रेशर ऑन इट एंड वेन यू अप्लाई प्रेशर ऑन इट the particles go further away that's how pressure works right aap apne ghar mein cushion ke upar hath rakhoge to cushion ko you can feel it expanding to the sides because the particles are going further away because of the pressure of your hand jo aapne uske upar lagaya hua it's exactly the way when you press on ice to kya hota hai ki particles are pressed which means they try to go further away from each other and what is going further away if not melting solid particles if they go further away that's liquid liquid particles go further away that's gas which means if i can think of a way to make them go further away without heating that's still melting and that's exactly what happens so when ice skaters they flow on ice because they have very small blades at the bottom of their shoes and those blades have very small area and remember i told you the pressure is force over area so us pure uh, ice skater ka weight force hai aur uske shoes ke niche jo blades hain wo area wo area itna kam hai aur force itni zyada hai ki pressure bahut badh jata hai and when pressure increases on that liquid the particles go further away to melt ho jata hai which is why they can easily move now of course that's not how gases behave in gases if you increase the pressure the particles come closer together they don't go further away they come close together and that's the idea here that if you increase the volume if they make go further away they collide less pressure come hoga if you decrease the volume we mean you bring them close to each other they will collide more pressure zyada hoga and charles law is about temperature what is temperature एवरेज कैनेटिक एनर्जी पे डिपेंड करता है वो टेम्परेचर इज नॉट एवरेज कैनेटिक एनर्जी इट डिपेंड्स ऑन एवरेज कैनेटिक एनर्जी सो इफ पार्टिकल्स हैव मोर कैनेटिक एनर्जी विच मीन्स दे मूव मोर सो वेन दे मूव मोर दे हिट इच अदर मोर विच इज वाई प्रेशर इंक्रीज एंड इफ दे मूव लेस दे कोलाइड इच अदर लेस विच इज वाई प्रेशर डीक्रीज एंड दैट्स द आइडिया ऑफ गैसेस सिंपल सो इन दिस वन वी कैन सी दैट सॉलिड्स the motion is vibration and that means that when they vibrate they hit each other very less because they have already low kinetic energy and on top of that they have force of attraction pulling them to each other and gas is the exact opposite in gas they have high kinetic energy and they have a lot of freedom but very limited forces so uski wajah se wo jitna move karna chahe wo kar sakte so that's the idea of kinetic energy and solid liquids and gases we will come back to it and we will try to see that okay 
how do solids change to liquid and liquid changes to gas or the other way around? How exactly does that happen? And then we will talk about why do we believe particles exist?